Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today, my friends, we are attempting my second ever build with terrain tools, although it is my third attempt actually build, but I've only ever posted two because I built one yesterday. Here's the story, okay? I'm a little bit upset about this. I'm not going to lie, so I'm going to tell you about it. I built this house sort of similar to this one. I was trying to build like a, like a family cottage with terrain tools, okay? It was on a bigger lot. It was like a 40 by 30 lot. It was going to have a greenhouse. It was going to be very cute, I promise. But then I built it, like the, the shell of it on the terrain and like messed with it a little bit and I showed my friend and then he laughed at me. Like he laughed at my build because he thought it was ugly. So like I, I'm not posting that one because it was ugly apparently and like laughable. So um, <laughs> that one's bulldozed, not going to lie, but we tried this one instead. It's smaller because what do I always say? It's way easier to build a small house than a bigger house. Take your own advice, Kayla, but I built this like sort of family looking cottage and I made it on a little bit of raised terrain and I'm kind of proud of this one. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know. It seems a little bit unnecessary to have the terrain raised in this one, but you know, it's okay. It looks good. I, you'll see when it gets done, like with the landscaping and stuff, I've definitely improved. Like compared to my, my build at Sims Camp, like the weird mansion with like the weird stairs and stuff, like we're, we're upgrading here a little bit. Uh, I still have some work to do. <laughs> definitely could use some more practice, but listen, we do this together and we get through this together, okay? I feel like <laughs> I'm sort of expected to be good at this because like I build so much that it's like, okay, Kayla's obviously gonna be good at building. Like, where's the terrain tools build? My who? Where are my terrain tool builds, you know? And then, but I just, I don't know how to use them in The Sims 4. I never really built with terrain tools in The Sims 3 either because I wasn't good at it. Like I used to watch so many tutorials of like the constrained floor elevation cheats and all that stuff. And I watched so many like James Turner speed builds and like, I still, I don't know how to do it. I mean, I know how to do it, but I don't know how to make it look good. <laughs> like, I know the actual process of doing it. It's just the making it look good part that I'm not so great at. But we're getting there. The Sims 4, mark my words, I will master this, okay? But yeah, here's the little cottage. It's three bedrooms and one bathroom. It's pretty small. That was sort of intentional, though. And I'm actually proud of this one a lot. I just, I like the outside. It's very, like, fairy tale esque in my mind. All these people that are better than me at building, they build things like this a lot, and so I was like channeling them when I was landscaping, and so y that's <laughs> that's what we ended up with here, okay? I'm pretty proud of it. I am on a mission now to get good at terrain tools. Mark my words. I think I might do a build again tomorrow with terrain tools. I just, I really want to get good at this, and I'm just not good at it, and granted, I've tried like three times. I probably should just like lower my expectations for myself, but instead I'm just going to be self-deprecating and mean about it. Typical, right? <laughs> but anyway, there's my little build. I, the inside, I'm not going to lie, is very like classic Lil Simsy build. I just... We might be branching out with our exteriors, but the interiors, they're still the same. I can't, I can't change it up. Although I did do a bunch of different builds recently. I did like some, some wild and crazy Get Famous ones. Like I did a crazy modern build this week, so I'm not even going to apologize. I actually attempted two crazy modern builds this week, but only posted one of them because one of them was really bad. The builds that we have in Get Famous are really bad. <laughs> like the ones that I've tried to renovate. I've tried to renovate all three mansions up in like the hills of Del Sol Valley. And I just, each and every one of them is unfixable. Like I didn't think it was possible for it to be this not good, but it, it, they're just, I don't want to be mean, but like they're unfixable. <laughs> like we thought like the base game lots were bad, like the goth house. It makes the goth house look good. Like, the land grab house looks like a nice build compared to these modern houses. Like, it's just, I don't know. Okay, I'll be nice. I'll stop. I'm sorry. The builds are really nice. That museum in, in Del Sol Valley, it's so beautiful and original looking. Maybe beautiful is a strong word. It's definitely very unique, we'll say. They're all very unique looking. And, like, the one, like, the blue suburban wannabe mansion in Del Sol Valley, that one looks like it has a face. That's really fun. Faces are so fun in The Sims. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Okay, I promise I'll stop. I love the builds and like the Plumbob Pictures Studio. It looks like a mushroom. That's mushrooms are awesome. People like mushrooms, right? It reminds me of like Mario. I don't know. Oh my god. 
Oh, it's fine. I'll renovate them. I promise. I promise I will. I'm working on it. I think I might stream myself renovating some things in the next couple days. So if you want to check that out, twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy. But as my final review to you all about, I'm not even playing Get Famous right now and I'm talking about it, but like my final takeaway for Get Famous, because I felt like I, I might talk about it in a build about it, about Get Famous, just as like a final one, final one, but like as a little preview. I think I like this pack, but I don't think it's my favorite pack. Does that make sense? I just don't really care about fame, and so I'm a little bit like, meh, but it has been fun playing with the gameplay. Like, on stream, I've been playing with this sim who's, like, wild and crazy. She's got, like, three boyfriends, and she cheats on people like crazy. I don't know. She just, like, her boyfriend, she was pregnant. This, here's a fun story. My sim, by the way, twitch.tv forward slash lilsimsy for this <laughs> fantastic gameplay, but my sim was in her third trimester, like, very pregnant. Her boyfriend, Shingo, was over. It was harvest fest so it was like thanksgiving great family holiday you know uh again she's very pregnant very miserable they're celebrating harvest fest together and then he just up and left like in the middle of their meal so i was not very happy with him to say the least uh and so i cheated on him with my ex-boyfriend which i you know isn't like the best thing to do but like what he was mean so like he deserved it but like that's the kind of fun and fresh gameplay happening over there and then she had she got a new boyfriend uh like you know that celebrity with the ponytail what's his name his his son is named orange you know the one the bailey moon people yeah we're we're currently pregnant with his baby and engaged to him so like it's been wild <laughs> I just I never get to play like crazy dumb gameplay like that where you just mess around and like ruin people's lives and it's my favorite thing to do like I do a lot of like cute little suburban families and like oh look at these people they're you know we're writers and we're playing a legacy challenge <laughs> oh not so very astronauts but like I don't often play with crazy sims that like cheat on people or like use people for money like that's it's rare that I do that in my gameplay so it's been fun to mess around like that that's like my roots of the sims actually that's not true my roots of the sims are playing legacy challenges so I'm a liar it's just it's it's fun to be dumb sometimes okay I think we can all relate to that <laughs> it's good to just cause some problems like you can't always ruin things in real life but you can for sure ruin everyone's lives in the sims like that's the best part anyway I picture that like an older couple lives here in this house and like their grandkids come and visit occasionally so they have like they used to have well they still have two kids but they're like grown now and so they have two bedrooms in this old house and like whenever their grandkids come visit they come and stay in the rooms and like that's who I picture lives here it's like an, an elderly couple who wants their grandkids to come over and visit <laughs> and I just I like that idea it also makes me miss my grandparents so huh, I can't wait for Christmas you guys it's so soon I'm gonna I think I might go shopping with my mom for Christmas decorations tomorrow because like Thanksgiving is this week so I'm allowed to buy Christmas decorations now right I want to get a Christmas tree for my office I'm I really like the idea of doing that like think my video backgrounds with like a Christmas tree maybe some garland across like I have the bookshelves behind me, you know, it's gonna be real cute. I'll make it real cute. Mark my words So I think tomorrow I'm gonna go shopping with my mom for that uh, Can't wait. I might even cancel my stream just to, <laughs> to go Christmas shopping, but listen, I think it's worth it Okay, this is my favorite time of the year. I need to buy more candles too. Oh, I'm so excited I love Christmas time. I mean, I love like the fall time as well, but I live in Florida. So like I don't really get seasons, so I just, except in The Sims 4 seasons, my favorite expansion pack, uh, so I like to just really embrace um, pretending that we have seasons and go all out for the winter time, because it might be hot outside still, but not in here. It's a winter wonderland in here, mark my words. <laughs> so, ew, I'm sorry. I just, I want to live in a place that's colder. I said that on stream more recently I made a joke and the whole chat was like no you don't you're wrong and listen I was born in Chicago for one thank you and also I just I want to live in a place that has seasons not like I don't want to move to like Alaska or like Canada those are different kinds of extremes but like I don't want to move to like the north okay I just want to move to like what's I don't know what a better example is I not like Boston either ew but like, <laughs> no offense Boston love you guys but like I just wish that I it wasn't 80 degrees all year round and then it was it's, it's Florida is like hot and then hotter and then rain and Hurricanes that's what we have here and I that's not fun. I want it to be like Normal I want to live in a normal place. Okay, so one day <laughs> Maybe someday we'll see what happens. Just put these things out into the universe. You know my mom says stuff like that I don't know if that 
works or not, but like, why not try it? I, I, one time I was like, wish I had an office and then I moved into a place that I get an office in. So like, maybe it works. Who knows? <laughs> also guys, one more thing. I started a new Let's Play yesterday. I've actually started two Let's Plays in the last couple weeks. One of them is a Sims 3 Generations Let's Play. And the other one is a Get Famous kind of Let's Play, but it's, um, it's a mega famous celebrity bowler Let's Play. Uh, I talk about Tommy Oaks a lot, my favorite Sim of all time the mega famous celebrity bowler Tommy Oaks. Yeah, he's got his own Let's Play now. So it's kind of dumb, but like in a good way. If you want to go watch it, I'll link it down below. But I put a lot of work into this one. So if you want to go see with The Sims 3 one too, I put so much work into that. It took so long to set up. So if you want to go check those things out, I'm actually very proud of my videos this week. Although I made a really dumb cast video. So <laughs> here's a fun story. When the embargo lifted on, what was it, Wednesday or Thursday? I think it was Wednesday, of Get Famous. So I got Get Famous on Tuesday. The embargo lifted on Wednesday so I could post content with it. But I was so sick that day and just like feeling really anxious and, and just bad about myself that I didn't, I kept like trying to record things and then them not working. And so I didn't have a video and I like made a build and then my file corrupted and it was like a whole disaster. And so I just made a cast video. And so like that was my, my release into the world of Get Famous. Like I had early access to this game and I was like, here's a dumb cast video, guys. And I don't even like making cast videos. I feel like whenever I do them, because I, I spend like 20 minutes recording the video and then it's like maybe a 10 minute recording of a voiceover and then like what to edit that, like it's nothing. So it's just, it, it feels like a very like weak video for me to make because I don't put that much effort into them. Because when I build something, it takes me like a couple hours and the voiceover is long and the editing is more intensive. But like with the cast, it's just like, okay, it's done. Meh, here you go. <laughs> and then it's like six minutes long. So I, whenever I do one of those, I just feel like I didn't try and I feel like it's a bad video. It might not be a bad video, but I just kind of feel that way about it. And so I, I wasn't, it's, I'm sorry, <laughs> but I gave you a really big fixer up for the next day build. So I guess it works out a little bit. And a let's play that I worked hard on. So I just, I, t I needed more time to create content. The cast video was like a filler so that I could spend all that day, which I did spend all that day working on the fixer up or they posted the next day. So it worked out. It's just, I still feel a little bit bad about it. So you want to watch that video. It's not a bad video. It's just like not my best. <laughs> you can you can watch it. It's linked down below. I like that sim a lot. I've been playing with her. She's the one who is like out here cheating on people and ruining lives. Like she's kind of fun. Her name's Kimmy. Like what a, what a good and fun and fresh time. I'm sorry for saying that. Ew. <laughs> Speaking of fun and fresh, I bought James Charles makeup palette. Uh, so unleash your inner artist, my friends. I, so on stream uh, recently, I've been so I just, I have this, so in my desk drawer, like I have one of, like I have one of those little like mini Alex drawer set thingy boys from Ikea. That's my desk is made out of it. So there's like legs on one side and then like the drawer boy on the other side. And so I have like all these drawers and one of them has my makeup in it. And so it's like right there next to me when I'm streaming. And sometimes I just get tempted to like take it out and put it on my face. And so I've had these moments where I've just like literally just put my fingers in eyeshadow and just like put it on. Like, I don't know how to explain this. I'll link one of my VODs down below when I did it. I think you'll be afraid. So just keep in mind that I warned you, but there's like black eyeshadow all over my eyes and like my lips even. It's, mm, it was a mistake, but I started, I decided that I want to start getting good at makeup because I'm not, I'm not, like I'm not bad at it, but like I don't do anything fun ever. I don't really wear makeup, so I bought James Charles palette one because like, hi sisters, <laughs> we love James Charles, but also maybe I'll make a video trying to recreate one of his tutorials. I just, I've always been scared to do that because even to do like a My Sim Picks My Makeup video because I feel like there's a level of expectation for me to be good at it. Cause like most of these like girls on the internet, like these beauty girls who like make these makeup videos are like good at makeup, obviously. So I don't want to like make a makeup video and embarrass myself. So I've been scared to do those dumb challenges, but now I've, I'm over it. I, I don't even care anymore. I don't care what you think about me. So I'm just going to do it anyway. And it's going to be dumb and maybe kind of fun. So like, stay tuned. Uh, can't wait for that. I'm going to unleash my inner artist. Thoughts on that? Let me know in the comments down below. But I think on that note, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off right here. What a dumb, 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 dumb video and idea on my part. But like I said, I unleash your inner artist. You should do it too. We're all in this together. But <laughs> follow me on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and those places. It's all just Lil Simsy. I'm everywhere, Lil Simsy. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Ew, that's not my outro. I messed it up, but I don't even care. Bye, everybody.
You know, you would think that after doing this, making daily videos with the same outro for like three and a half years, I would maybe get it right. But like occasionally I just mess it up. And once I start saying it wrong, I just can't, I don't even know what to say. I don't know how to explain. I'm sorry.